Welcome back everybody to Dofus Touch and as you can see our character is looking a little bit different from the last time we start playing. Uh, I got a gobble set for it. It's a beginner set for level 20 and best thing about it, why is it so popular? It's, it's because it gives one extra action point which comes really handy in fights. As you can see, extra HP, action point, damage, strength, wisdom and intelligence. So a well-rounded set for beginners and with it I think that we should be able to defeat that uh, boss in Incarnum Dungeon. So why don't we take a look in the dungeon again and try to defeat it. Uh, we got teleported to the entrance of the temple or the Incarnum area. So, while we walk towards the dungeon, uh, I, I'd like to talk about what, he, what we will do today. So, first of all, that, that set I talked about, it's gonna give us a nice boost uh, with health points, damage and extra experience because of that 20 wisdom. Uh, next up, I'm gonna talk some, uh, a little bit about professions, but just a brief brief explanations and how to acquire them and actually I'm gonna learn a couple of professions. There's gonna be a detailed video incoming with all the information how to uh, learn a certain profession, where to optimize your grinding and uh, collecting materials and so on and so forth. Uh, right now we're going to Incarnum Dungeon, uh, after that we're gonna take a look at the shop and the rotating sets. And lastly, we're gonna have some tips for you. Uh, just a couple of stuff to have as a newcomer. So things you must have, or I mean must have, that are that will make your life easier, such as, as the bunch of keys, but we'll talk about it later on. So we're in front of the dungeon. Let's get inside. And right now we have seven action points. And hopefully when we steal some action points, we're going to have eight and that will allow us um, allow us to use our hand uh, twice per turn. And since the last time I gained, I think, two levels, which unlock the Temporal Dust area of, of effect spell and it's going to make us, our life a lot easier. So we're not, right now we can either use the door key or the bunch of keys. Uh, so yeah, let's use the bunch of keys, it's, it's the same. First room, easy monsters, a couple of arachnies. Alright, here we go. Gonna take this up there to make it easier to navigate. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look at our new spell, uh, Temporal Dust, 5 action points, fire type damage in the area of effect and reduces action points. So let's cast it here and see what it does. There we go. One shot kill. And Tofu, you're done. Alright, so first room clear, on to the second, sunflower, rose, crab and gobble. I'm not worried too much about the challenges because there's nobody else in the group and drops are minimal right now. So not, not much point into um, completing those. Level 47, Chafer, Board, Warchief and a Larva. Yeah, we can stand there, they're gonna die instantly. Or not. Alright, so the Warchief lives, but the next turn He's gone and gonna have to wait a little till this boar gets in range. And there he goes. 
you can see a huge increase in damage output for the hand. Nebojša. All right. Oh, he's starting immediately. Oh, okay, let's join him. So right now we're definitely going to complete this this dungeon with our uh, with our friend right here. So again, temporal dust. And the chafer. He's an anatroph, so he's probably going to cast coin throwing, which is a, a chance spell. And anatrophs have a really, really good spell uh, for early levels, but also for later ones. Uh, living bag, which. There we go, we stole one extra action point, so now you c we can use hand twice. 150 damage for level 27. Not bad. Uh, yeah, living bag, so it's a summon and it swaps uh, and it takes damage for for you. So... There we go. Uh, dungeon's done and we got a couple of achievements. We got the completed dungeon. Uh, completed the dungeon with two characters. And with hands tied, just another uh, achievement done. So, so let's accept all the rewards and get two levels. All right, dungeon master, congratulations! All right, thank you. Now let's get outside. All right, thanks. So, dungeon's done. Let's see what's our reward from Thelma Faker, I think. Three maps away, not very far, far away from here. Thelma, talk. No. Come on. All right, never mind. We'll figure that out sometime. Or Snoot conclude the deal with Tom Faker. What's wrong with you? All right, never mind. Uh, so. Moving on to our next topic is the shop. So I don't think I've described the shop very well in my first video uh, Probably because we had so much to cover and I didn't want to waste so much time on the shop So looking at the shop uh, Up top you can see your gold teens and gold and on the left you can see uh, the windows current deals bonus packs items and services so if we take a look at the bonus packs, we've seen this window before. So you can uh, extend your subscription by 7 or 30 days and pay with either gold teens or gold. Uh, like we said before, increase of increase uh, increased experience and drops from each fight as well as professions. So uh, next up we got items. And right now we can see the sets. Uh, which are actually rotating each week. So every week there's going to be a new set of sets that you can buy with either gold teams or gold. So if we take a look at, I don't know, uh, Cursed Vampire set, you can see all the bonuses it will give. So a lot of vitality, power, strength, wisdom, intelligence, and so on. 
And down there you can see the items. So it's a set that comes with six items. And if we tap on um, each and every one of them, you can see the bonuses it gives. So for example, the cape is gonna give vitality, intelligence, and range. And uh, be very careful before buying them, if you're gonna buy them, because they all have uh, level requirements. So the ring is gonna have a requirement of level 42, cave 41, mask 42, and so on. Right now, the most popular set is definitely the either set. Uh, it's gonna be right here this red one because at level 60 it gives you action point movement point uh, 52 to 60 wisdom two range and a lot of extra damage as you can see and it's only four four piece set four pieces set and it's for level 60 so very popular set that a lot of players are buying right now but of course it's not necessary you can farm your materials for other sets in game so it's not mandatory uh, next up we got living objects um, Then there are pets pets are a great addition because they give extra um, Extra characteristics or increase in damage wisdom. I don't know uh, extra pods if you're if you're farming for professions and gathering materials So right now this gub tubby is gonna give zero uh, up to 150 vitality uh, the best one I think is the pink dragoon and it's gonna give and it's the most expensive one so it's gonna give 50 wisdom which if you level to the max it's gonna give you 50% uh, more experience at the end of the fights which is really really um, really good uh, no results for emotes they're gonna get added later mounts uh, dragon turkey and boar hog Bo uh, very expensive, 8,000 gold teens, but there are some in game because there are a lot of high level characters which can afford them with commas. And consumables, just some fairy works for now. Uh, and that's about it for the items. And services, just some potions such as name change potion, guild renaming, color change, and you can see the rest right here. So, shop. You can purchase items with gold teens or commas, so you can earn them, you don't have to pay. And sets rotating every week, and I think that's about it for the shop. Alright, let's get out of the Incarnum area again, and uh, learn some professions. So what I have in mind is uh, learning a couple of uh, crafting professions. Professions are actually one one of my favorite se segments of the game, like I said before. Uh, they are very time consuming, so be prepared to uh, grind a lot. Or have a lot of money to purchase uh, resources and materials to um, increase your levels in professions. Especially handyman profession, I think is the hardest one. But now uh, I'm planning to get a uh, jeweler. Tailor and a shoemaker. All right, let's. No, 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 not the zap. We have to go to the hot air balloon or the carrier. Okay, fly back to Astro. And we cannot use our recall po potion because our last save point was the entrance of the temple. So it would just teleport us back to the temple. <clears throat> All right, so to learn a profession you have to go to a certain NPC and right now um, shoemaker, Shoemaker's workshop is pretty nearby so we can learn the shoemaker first This profession will teach you how to craft boots and uh, belts So right here we can craft belts and boots uh, I think this is the workshop. Yep. And let's talk to the EGOT and learn the shoemaker profession. Yep. Alright, see, so we got our uh, profession tool leather cutter. 
and we unlock the professions window. So I'm going to get into more detail in future videos where I'm going to explain professions into detail. But for now, let's walk down to um, towards the jeweler. Jeweler workshop where we can learn that particular profession. And on, an, on our way there, we can actually learn the tailor profession because for that one, you cannot you cannot learn it by talking to a non person non person character. You have to use the tailor's manual. So some professions require certain uh, resources to be used, such as handyman requires planks, and the tailor requires the tailor's manual. Uh, you can uh, you can obtain it by completing the smith dungeon blacksmith dungeon. It's around level sixty, I think, but you can also buy it from the market. So if you click on the on the market uh, button and type in uh, document document Taylor manual, you can see it's one hundred and eighty eight thousand. So it's pretty expensive, and uh, I got one in my inventory, so I can use it. And there we go, you're now a tailor. So if we go back to our professions window, uh, it's not up updated right now. There we go, shoemaker and the tailor. You can have three professions and three specializations. In future, uh, future updates, they're gonna uh, remove that restriction. So you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna be able to uh, train all your professions but I don't think that's until update 2.9 or something like that right now we're um, we're in the PC version of 2.14 all right so we have reached our jewelers workshop and if we talk to Shani we can learn the jeweler profession quite hard and requires a lot of time and money all right we can do that, and we are now a jeweler. Tailor and shoemaker—they're gonna require a lot of a lot of farming and grinding. And jeweler is gonna is gonna profit the most from the miner uh, profession because it's gonna require a lot of ore. So let's go to our bank and pick up some ore from there. And we can see how crafting works. Oops, slight lag there. Consult with our save. We uh, had to pay nine commas, and let's take out uh, some gobble slobber. Let's say 10 and some iron. So to craft stuff, you have to go to your professions workshop. You cannot craft them wherever you want. So there's a workstation in every workshop. So right now we're going to go to the jeweler's workshop and craft some um, nimble rings. Right there, one gobble slobber and one iron. I think it's the most um, profitable combination because hundreds of those nimble rings can be exchanged for a small agility scroll, which you can then sell on the market for. I don't know. Right now, there's they're going for like twenty thousand or something like that. So it's a pretty good combo, especially if have, if you have a minor profession, then you can get iron for uh, for yourself and just farm or buy the gobble slobber. So when you click on the or tap on a wor uh, workstation, you can select the nimble ring from the left side, there we go. Or you can display recipes that you can craft. So right now we can craft these recipes. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to uh, find your desired recipe. So we can craft 10 nimble rings and 
when we tap combine it's gonna start the crafting process we're now level 3 jeweler and we got an achievement for crafting them all right take some experience take some money and let's see our uh, profession window right now we're level 3 we can craft two slots two slots recipes as you can see up there they're going up to eight slots so uh, three slot three slot recipes are gonna uh, be available at level th oh another disconnect yeah another disconnect I'm sorry about that uh, let's go back to our profession so three slot recipes at level 15 four slots level 20 five slots level 40 six slots 60 seven slots uh, I think it's also 60 or 80, I don't know, but A slots uh, level 100. Like I said, they're gonna require a lot of materials and time, but if you're dedicated and have time and patience, you can, you can level them up uh, real easy. So, last thing I wanted to talk to you about is stuff that you have to have as a newcomer. So, as a new player, there's, I think, three things that you have to have. First of all, there's the bunch of keys that we have talked about a lot and um, seen how how it's obtained, how you can get it. And I won't spend too much, uh, too many words on describing it. So uh, next one are the recall potions. So potions that teleport you back to your saved position. So let's go to the zap and save our zap because our last site position was the temple. And we're gonna see how those potions work. <clears throat> Alright. Save the zap. Position saved. And right now imagine us anywhere anywhere in the world so being I don't know in Kanya Kanya field so long way from here long long way from here so in order not to walk from there to the city because it would take so much time you can just use your recall potions so it, it will teleport you back to your safe position and you can just double tap or go action use and there we go back to the zap so it's it's very very comes in very handy and uh, alchemists that are level 10 can craft them or uh, actually alchemist level 1 can can craft them because it's only a two two slot recipe so water and water you can buy from the from an inn and five leaf clovers, uh, they can be harvested by alchemists or can be dropped by gobbles. Also, you can always check the market if there are any uh, on the market and buy from there. And they're not really expensive, so uh, recall potions are fairly easy to get and really, really useful. And the third thing that you have to have is some sort of a potion or bread so you can heal yourself after fights. Um, because your HP is going to regenerate after fights uh, rather slowly. So it's always a good idea to have some uh, consumables that's, that are going to heal you back to your full health. So uh, you can have uh, fish, bread or potions to do that. Right now I don't have any fish, but you got some bread. Oh, we do actually. We got some from our tutorial. So uh, it's going to get us 10 HP back. Uh, there are bread. There's bread that can be crafted by bakers, but my favorite one um, is is a potion from those three because they're the least expensive ones. As you can see on the market, they only go for they only cost like four four commas per uh, per potion. So there you go, 500, 500 commas for hundred potions. That's that's really cheap. And it heals you for 21 till 40 uh, HP. If we look up uh, bread, 
not the alchemist, but the baker, baker bread. And let's take a look at um, city, uh, solid bread. You can see that 20 HP, 10 of them cost 200. And uh, these cost more than twice as much. So I think you get the idea. You can search for those potions on the market, also buy them to heal yourself. And I think that those three things will come, come in real handy. Bunch of keys, recall potions and some sort of consumables that will heal you, so preferably potions. And uh, get you ready for, uh, for next fights um, real quick. So I think that's, that's enough for today's episode. We talked about uh, the new set, the Gobble set. Um, we learned some new professions, explained them, um, and saw how to make certain items. We defeated our Snow Wolf, the, completed the Incarnate Dungeon. We took a, took a look inside the shop and saw what the rotating sets are for this week and what, what you can buy in there. And also, I've talked about the stuff you have to have as a newcomer, so that will come come in real handy and make your life easier for the during your adventure. So I'd like to thank you again for for watching this video. I hope to I I gave you I gave you some tips that you will uh, find useful. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I am very active, so I will reply almost instantly. And that's about it. Thank you again, and see you again in the next episode.